Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're discussing Overwatch 2, which is fun because I haven't done a review in a while. But anyway, let's get into it. Overwatch 2 has been released for just over a day and a bit now. And I played around about, I think, eight hours yesterday and have been really enjoying it. It's very nostalgic. It takes me back six years ago to when Overwatch 1 first launched. And I've got to say, I'm very um, impressed. Now, there are issues, of course, which we will get into, but generally, very happy very much enjoying playing overwatch again first off let's discuss kind of why i think personally overwatch 2 is a lot better than overwatch 1 now a lot of people are saying the opposite we will again discuss that but first let's talk about why i think it's better the removal of the the, the second tank is actually a really good decision for the game i think what you find is that the matches go quicker you get more time playing than you do kind of sat doing nothing do you still get chokeholds yes do you still have moments where you're just running in and dying yes but you can more easily break through enemy teams and alternately you know stop enemy teams from advancing so i think in that way the game has become more active more um, fast paced and i'm happy for that i think that was one of the things that slowed overwatch down a lot compared to other games on the market you know other games are very fast paced these days overwatch was very slow apart from a few characters who kind of change that slightly so i think that's one of the big things i also think that push one of the new maps is also a really good invention there's an enjoyability around it and also it doesn't feel as um long-winded because you know, between pushes for example you can um take the the robot and move him back to your side very easily very quickly um the push itself is the slow part which which means that you get a lot of fun back and forth and you get to enjoy the breadth of the map as well which is also very important you know these maps are beautiful yeah i, I really enjoy them i really like them i think push is a is my new favorite mode uh compared to control or you know um push the payload which is a slightly different one um I might be using the wrong terminology here as well. Bear in mind, um, I'm, I'm still f um, quite new to Overwatch 2. I didn't actually play the betas, which is, I think, has been a benefit to me uh, just going into the game fresh from the off when Overwatch 2 launched. Um, but yeah, I think what i find is that the the games are faster they're more enjoyable um the new heroes add to that as well the junker queen is a very fast moving tank and very um capable of getting in there um maybe not so much getting out but um that's where her team comes into play kiriko is a very fun fast moving support and she's really fun for that as well i haven't played much of her because everyone wants to play kiriko right now which you know understandable and of course she's not in competitive either at the moment but yeah very fun uh hero i think she's um got a definite place in the roster sojourn as well is another great um all-rounder i think when i say all-rounder i don't mean in the sense of like she can do everything what i more mean is she's she's generally well-rounded sorry should i say as a hero and i think that's good i think sometimes you just want a very straightforward hero that can do a few things and do them good and that's that like they don't need to be over the top they don't need to be extreme she's essentially soldier 76 2.0 which I don't mind because Soldier himself still has a reason for being. Soldier is still a good character to have. It's just that she does some Soldier things almost quote unquote slightly better. With that said, there were a few difficulties on launch day, including but not limited to um, DDoSs and lack of connection to server and losing cosmetics. Now, the cosmetic thing has been sorted. As far as I'm aware, it looks as if all my skins are back. Um, if others are still experiencing it, then let me know. Um, that would be very interesting to hear hear about but yeah there was a lot of connectivity issues there was a ddos attempt on blizzard which i'm not surprised by it has happened with overwatch and other games like it before as well as you know other blizzard properties as well one thing that i have seen and i will acknowledge but i personally didn't feel it is that some people feel like the impact of shots is slightly off anything that's like a physical ammunition in the game feels slightly off i didn't notice that but i can't really attest to that too much because i generally play for example reinhardt or i play um moira so those kind of things don't really um affect me as much as maybe they do someone who plays for example cassidy kind of try that yourself um to get a grasp on that but yeah generally enjoying it one thing to also discuss is the battle pass now i think the battle pass is actually very good um i haven't looked at pricing yet because i actually got one of the um the watch point packs so i kind of got into the battle pass straight away but 
I will say that it looked decently filled with quality content within within every 10 levels you get a decent skin and it customizable skins which is something that Fortnite has done for a while it's now a thing in Overwatch which is a good thing I think it's a it's a fun thing it adds more uniqueness to seeing you know I mean you won't see two Genjis in a match but you will see you know multiple Genjis over multiple matches well you could see two Genjis in a match but you know what I mean but if you see a Genji that has a different version of the skin each time it's kind of more refreshing right it's less oh it's the same bland look every time I'm interested to see what happens when there isn't a hero in the battle pass now, I'm not saying that every two months there couldn't be a hero they could have a lot of heroes lined up already but the likelihood is probably not right so if every off um every second um, battle pass doesn't have a hero i'm wondering does the price drop is there less rewards i'm i'm unlikely i think unlikely on that front i think it will probably stay at the same price just to maintain equality on that front but i think interestingly i think that you're going to have to have a point where either you put more skins in or you put something alternate in um to kind of make up for a lack of hero if you're not putting in a hero every two months this is very fresh water for overwatch 2 compared to something like fortnite where you can pretty much predict how the pass might look okay guys so when i recorded the first part of this video there wasn't any updates surrounding on um, the addition of phone numbers to your account that were linked to a contract to be able to play overwatch 2 at that point you had to have one that was that um to be able to play the game that has since changed so i was going to kind of critique it and say you know for certain people for certain people that is just not feasible there are people of a certain age group or people who have a certain level of income that just cannot pay for a contract they have prepaid phones or whatever that has since been revoked for people who have played overwatch one which means that anyone who previously owned overwatch one playing overwatch two you now don't need that obviously there's still a problem there for new players it kind of creates a a stopgap where there are a certain amount of players especially younger people who pretty much can't play the game uh, unless they have the backing of their parents essentially and even then their parents would need a contracted phone there's drawbacks but at least this means now that there is a lack of um concern surrounding people who have previously bought the game they are not now forced to have a contracted phone to play overwatch 2 so as i say i think the game itself is in a really good place right now i think the way it set itself up for further iteration is really good um i am concerned about some of the the, the behind the scenes stuff like I say about the phone um, issue and on top of that, the issue with DDoSing, etc., which can't be helped by the company too much. It, it is the way these things go. But overall, a good start for Overwatch 2. Just a few um, bits of turbulence, which I'm hoping they overcome. With that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more Overwatch 2 content on the channel, let me know. Otherwise, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.